Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruelty free YouTuber that is trying to have a year long no buy. And today I am going to do a video that I don't know how it will go. Yeah, because today I'm doing a get ready with me and I'm going to talk about a thing that even confused me when I'm speaking. Swedish so we will see how this will go and I will try to put on some eyeshadow primer and I'm going to use my Natasha Denona retro palette so I think we just have in. So the thing I want to talk about I like don't even know how to start. I did mention this idea for my boyfriend and he was like yeah about it I think it can be good but it is about having dreams in your life and especially like maybe feeling bad for not having dreams in your life I don't even know like where even to start but maybe I can start with something that annoys me like scrolling around on Instagram and people is very like this yeah you have to chase you sh chase your dreams and use every day to fulfill your dream and use every day to get a step closer to living your dream and talk when people talk about having dreams and like fulfill your life okay now I'm going to sound like the most negative person ever I think that is annoying and uh, I also think it is something that can make people feel bad about themselves to hear others talk about fulfilling your dreams and do this, do that, earn a lot of money, travel wherever you want, and uh, it's just things like that. And why it does annoy me a bit is because I don't think that we all have dreams that are according to society big enough do you understand what is, is meaning with that but like take for me example i do have some goals and dreams in my life okay goals i have mostly i don't know what i have for dreams in my life but one of my goals and maybe also one of my dreams in life is to be healthy and able to live what maybe most people would say a boring life I really want to like feel good when I wake up in the morning I want to feel ready for the day and I want to have a body and a mind that works and I think that is in some people's eyes like a boring dream and not like a dream at all because if you go into dream it's like you have to figure out your dream job do you want to be self-employed maybe you want to do this do that you want to travel around the world five times you want to live as a free spirit having a van life having a youtube channel that you're making a lot of money on or be a painter or be a singer and to have a dream to live a normal life is not a dream that is big enough and that is like okay to have that dream because everybody can have a normal life but that's not right not everybody can have a normal life and not everybody does a normal life some of us do really struggle like even getting out of bed in the morning do I really want to use this shade uh, and things that some people take for granted 
is really heavy for others. And I don't just like that mindset that uh, everybody should have a dream that they are chasing. And also that that dream has to be big. I don't know if it is like that, but that is like the feelings that I have. That you have to have a big purpose in life, a big dream in life. And you have to have an amazing dream. Like when some people that are living what is like dream life. And people that work with what they love. And say like, yeah, everybody should work with what they love. Um, I just want to be like a realist and if everybody should work with the dream jobs I think we would have a lot of problems <laughs> living a day-to-day -day life if I'm going to be honest Because I know that not all people have their dream job and I know that there are some jobs in the world that it's not enough people that have that as the dream job be able to have like the world moving around and everybody's day-to-day -day life like take for example a bus driver I guess that some bus drivers has that as a dream job but not all bus drivers and yeah it things would not just work if everybody just left their day-to-day -day life to do their dream things it wouldn't work like my work um uh, i guess that's not many people at my work that has that 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 okay i don't think a lot of people at my work have my work as a dream a job for them but if we didn't do it, there will be a lot of supermarkets in Sweden that it's not going to have any food in them. And uh, where should people shop food then? So that is a thing that annoys me and also like people that are pushing everybody to live their dream. And people assuming that my dream is going to be the same as your dream. But it's not. If I'm going to be honest, I don't really know what my dream is. I One goal that I have is to save money to buy a house. Maybe that is also a dream for me to own my own home one day. And uh, yeah, I, I think that is one, maybe the only dream I have. I have one dream that I'm going to be, as I said in the beginning, healthy and have a, a stable mental health and also like a physical health that's and yeah, just a body that works. Because I do not want to have kids. So I don't have a dream about a family life. I do want to get married someday, but... I don't want a fancy wedding. <laughs> I don't even know if I want a wedding. I just like want to be married. And sometimes I think it's important to talk about that, that you don't need to have a super special dream and a super special purpose with life. I just don't feel like it's always so good to chase some things. 
And I have heard <laughs> that it's not good if you can fulfill all the dreams you have because like the hunt and chase for the dream is sometimes better than actually succeed and that some people that are like come to the dream and come to the goal with everything they are not happy because they aren't it wasn't what they was expecting it to be so you get disappointed that it wasn't that's super special and maybe things like it should feel better than this and I don't know maybe that is true maybe we aren't supposed to live our dream always and succeed with everything okay this feels like a super strange video and I can't remember even what I said and what I've talked about and I thought this was going to be so long and I filmed for 12 minutes so I guess it's not going to be a super long video but like the only thing I wanted to come out of this video is it's okay if your dream in life or with life is to get up in the morning and survive the day and I don't think you should feel bad for that and I don't think you should feel bad for not have any dream to chase and not doing something every day that makes you come closer to your dream if that makes sense I'm eating some candy like for me, I see, <laughs> I do not have my dream job, if you see it like that. And for right now it's not that good, but I make money and the money I make, I am able to do things that I want. I am able to save money for a future home and as for right now that is enough for me and if i did know what i wanted out of life and if i did know what i wanted to be i would quit my job but as for right now i do not know what i want and then I'm not going to try out to do things like I'm not going to start to study something if I'm not kind of sure that that is something that I want to do because I have a stable income and I do have paid vacation every year and maybe some would say that I'm boring because of that but it was works for me and uh, I know that a lot of other people have the same as me and I do think that I am able to do things that I want to do even though I don't have my dream job okay this, this this video did not turn out at all what I wanted it to be but I like at the same time don't even know what I wanted it to be okay I need to change the battery and I guess that these things do like what you want out of life is uh, different from person to person and also what you have what have happened in your life before Like I have in times been feeling very like my mental health hasn't been good so I am really really happy and satisfied when I mentally feel good and strong and that is like enough for me and also if I'm going to have another example I have really bad uh, problems with my back I think it was two years back and uh, bef <laughs> before I've taken my body for granted 
or my back at least, but when that started to ache too much and I couldn't like... If I went from s sitting down to stand up, I could like not even do it. It took minutes for me to like straighten up and going to stand straight and if I was standing and sitting down it was the same. And I like couldn't even get out of the couch. Um, my boyfriend did have to help me because it just didn't work. It hurted so much that I cried. And uh, getting up from the bed it was a pain in the ass and after that <laughs> I do take better care of my body at least a little bit uh, and I'm more like careful with it because I know how bad it can be and I don't want to go back to not be able to stand up I'm going to try to put something on my lower lash but with this palette I I'm trying my best over here to like it but I do struggle with it or maybe I do like it but it's just not like a favorite palette of mine and as for right now I do not I think it's worth all the money that I bought it for and it bums me out a little bit because a lot of my friends do really really like Natasha Denona it feels like I've done this look before with this palette maybe I should just like realize that it's maybe isn't something for me and maybe that is why I don't have any pa other palettes with this color story it could be that simple okay so if we in some way shape or form are going to try to summarize this video um how I shouldn't we do it maybe I just want to say that it's okay to not know what you want to do in life that you have no goals uh, that you have no dreams and that you don't want to travel the world or that you don't want to have kids or you don't want to get married or you don't want to i don't know find a partner that you want to live alone that is completely fine and you are not strange for not wanting things that everybody else wants but it feels like the normal normal boring people isn't that common on Instagram I'm having a new mascara I think I have had this before and this has been the first makeup item that I've bought this year except for a new makeup sponge because my older mascara I have had it open for this this whole year so it was time for it to go even though it wasn't empty I do think though I have another mascara somewhere that is not opened but I couldn't find it so I did buy this one and this is from a Swedish brand called Isadora and this is a uh, it's both vegan and cruelty free and I don't know but I could remember I thought that I was really into this mascara but now when I'm using it I am not sure maybe I should write down which mascaras I do actually like but I think that some mascaras just need to be a little bit dried up to work better and now for some reason I do have mascara smudges down here that usually doesn't happen to me like at all if I'm not sneezing right after I put on the mascara so I'm going to fix it it just has to dry a little bit and then I should be it should be easily fixed but okay we do like this during this drying time I'm going to find a lipstick put it on 
take this away and then I come back and finishing off this strange get ready with me that I don't know what it's turned out to be. I have struck struggled far too long with trying to come up with what I should take on my lips. Now I have soft spoken from NYX but I don't know. But I guess I would end this video here. I don't know what the, this became to be. The only thing like I wanted to talk a little bit about that I think it's important to remember that not having dreams or super special goals in your life is okay. If you just have a dream and a goal to have somewhat a normal day-to-day -day life, that is completely fine. And I think it's important to remember that not everybody wants this extra super special life with lots of money and be able to travel everywhere and have a super big house and everything that is not for everybody we all are different and i think it's important to remember that and also when you're feeling down you can always remember that you're never alone it's always somebody else somewhere in the world that has the same feelings and the same thoughts as you have and uh, yeah, I, I want to try to find a way back to when I actually did get read with Mies and talked about more like serious stuff and made them a little bit longer but I maybe I'm not like in the right mindset right now. I hope I will be back to that soon and um, yeah, I guess that was all and if we're going to talk a little bit about the makeup, this retro palette I this look I I don't know I I do like purple more but I don't think that I'm so happy with this look and today it's not the day for me and retro it's some days it's really is me and retro but today it's not me and retro um so yeah that was all for this video I do really love that you liked it and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my other videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!